RTX 5090 is too powerful to not run games easily at 8K. So before we start the video, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. RTX 5090 leaks are coming in fast and the latest rumor is apparently due to a Zotac slip up. Not only has the graphics card maker inadvertently mentioned several next gen Nvidia GPUs, but there is now reason to believe the flagship will come equipped with 32GB of GDDR7 VRAM. Video cards noticed that the RTX 5090 was listed too early on Zotac's website, along with other top graphics cards like the RTX 1580 and 5070. The listing also showed a smaller version, the RTX 5090D, Although Zotac has removed the listing, some leftover data still shows Blackwell SKU names along with current gen options. At this point, it's clear that RTX 5000 graphics cards are coming. What I found interesting is that the possibility of them featuring 32GB of GDR7 VRAM. This spec was hinted at by filters on the same Zotac GPU page where the lowest option was 12 gigabytes that detail is important because it makes me wonder if nvidia would really stick with just 8 gigabytes of memory for the rdx 5060 this time as we talked about in the last video the nvidia geforce rdx 5090 is turning out to be an extremely powerful gpu and it's safe to say that it will be too much for most gaming pc builds even the current generation RTX 4090 will still be considered high-end in my opinion. Thanks to its amazing 4K performance, this means that even premium gamers won't feel the need to rush to buy the new Blackwell GPU. That said, if the card does have 32GB of memory, it could mean that the RTX 5090 is designed to target 8K gaming performance. While current gen cards can somewhat handle beyond Ultra HD, pairing a high-end black hole GPU with that much VRAM could bring us closer to 60 FPS gameplay. Yes, 8K gaming monitors aren't widely available right now, so you would have to use an extremely expensive TV to make it work. However, keep in mind that Nvidia is set to hold its next keynote at CES 2025 which could coincide with announcement of new screens with panels that are perfect for the job? Just saying. Based on that, I would say it's at least worth waiting to see what the RTX 5090 can actually offer if you're aiming for an 8K gaming PC. However, if you're just looking for the best 4K experience possible or want to find the top GPU for most players, you might want to consider the uh, RTX 5080 or possibly the cheaper RTX 5070 Ti instead. Most should deliver a solid 4K experience when they release. So what do you think about this? Would you consider upgrading to the uh, 5090 or not? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.